Hi guys and welcome to today's Photoshop video and in this episode I want to show you how to create this cool glowing effect. Now it's really quite simple to do but there is a few things you need to do to achieve this effect so I'll be showing you those in this video. So let me just get rid of these layers so you can see the original image of what we started off with. I'll just actually get rid of all of these. Now the first thing you want to do is duplicate your layer. Now this can be done by right clicking and clicking on duplicate layer. Now this effect can be done on any image really. It's just, it just depends on how you create the effect and I'll show you what I mean later on in this video. Um, it works best really on more technical looking objects more than say a human face um, simply because the glow just looks nice on the object. Uh, you'll see what I mean in the rest of this video. Now what you want to do next is go to filter, then filter gallery. Now under stylize you want to go on glowing edges. Now this is where it starts to get quite important how you adjust each setting here because you want to adjust the edge width enough so that it doesn't look overly bright but enough so that it would give the outlines a nice glow. You can also adjust the brightness, now obviously this is the brightest, but as you can see you start to pick up extra little details which you don't really need. So you want on something like that. Then the smoothness, now you can either go for really smooth which gives this kind of really sort of smooth, um, liquidy kind of glow, or a more harsh which is definitely what we, not what we want. So somewhere in between is always pretty good. Uh, and then just press OK when you're done. Now obviously that doesn't look great, so you want to go to Image Adjustments and then you want to desaturate the colour. Now I'm just going to zoom in here so you can see more clearly. What you want to do now is you want to go to, to Select, Colour Range, and with the sampled colour selected, sample the black in the background and adjust the fuzziness here until you just get the outline of your glow here, which you can see. So uh, around middle would be good. Um, obviously you don't want to get this selection, that wouldn't be too great, it wouldn't look too nice, you wouldn't get rid of enough of the uh, the black. And this would be too much and the whites would start to take some kind of damage. So you just want enough so that you can keep the whites and the blacks will sort of remain a little but not too much. But uh, then we get rid of that and this is what you're left with. So you're left with this glow around here. Now the next step is to go to Image, Adjustments and Hue Saturation. Now, what's cool about this is that you can click Colorize down here and make the glow any color you want. Now, blue goes best with this as uh, the back the backdrop of the actual image itself is kind of like a bluey hue to it, so that looks quite nice. Uh, we'll go for this kind of cyan, which looks really nice too. Now, we'll just play around with the lightness and the saturation until you get the desired kind of effect. And now, what we can do is we can double click on our glow layer, click on outer glow and change the color again to that cyan. Now you don't want this to be too bright so just add a little bit of outer glow and also decrease the opacity a bit. And then you want to zoom out and what we do now is you want to use your brush tool on a 0% hardness um, it can be any kind of size you want, but obviously not too large. Change your main colour to that cyan again. You want to make a new layer. And you want to kind of just paint around where the most glow is. So that would look quite nice there. And then you want to change that to colour. So the glow like merges into your actual object. And uh, then what we want to do is go back to our glow layer again. Use our eraser tool. Put the opacity down to about 50% and then we want to just start getting rid of some of the glow which isn't needed. Because obviously we want to keep some of the details from the original image. Like so. And that looks really nice because as you can see the glow starts to kind of merge in between different um, parts of your, like the different details of your image. So you get like it's it, like it's almost absorbing your object which looks really nice. Uh, also, also depending on the detail of your image the glowing edges are going to create this kind of nice orby looking textures which looks really nice too. And this is all done by using the glowing edges effect. Now to add some more details to the image you might want to create a brand new layer. Again, using your brush tool and the, and the cyan colour which you've chosen, create a really large brush 
and just paint in the corners here like so and then change that to color too and once you've done that use your eraser tool make that larger again and just give it some kind of color texture again we can use the brush tool in the, in the opposite side and just start playing around with the colors now what you can do if you like is add a gradient overlay like a gradient map and start playing around with this this also can look really nice too so again it's up to you what effect you kind of add but it's, that's basically it on how to create that glowing edges. It's just that really nice technique. Uh, as long as you get rid of those blacks with the color range tool, you'll be able to create this nice sort of effect where the glowing edges wrap around your object. And if, you, if the glowing edges are a little bit too much for you, you can just use the eraser tool and just get rid of some of them to preserve the details on your image. And that's basically it for this tutorial. That's how to create this nice glowing edge effect. Hope this tutorial has been useful. If it has, then be sure to give this video a like and comment as well with um, any kind of questions you have about the effect. If you get, got lost a little bit during the tutorial, or if you have any questions generally about the tutorial itself. If you have any ideas for an upcoming tutorial that you'd like me to cover, then feel free to comment that too. Be sure to like my page on Facebook and follow me on Twitter for updates about upcoming videos. And I post things like this on Facebook asking people if they want a tutorial for it. So it's a really good way to engage and know what kind of tutorials are coming up. And it's a good way of me knowing what you guys want to see in a tutorial. And um, of course, be sure to subscribe for more Photoshop tutorials in the future. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in another video shortly.